Peace, family. All right, let's get right into it. Chess is an expression of pi. This adjustment to the numbers that I use to ascertain the value of each chess piece shows that the game itself is an expression of the ratio 3.14 or 22 over 7. The values that I put forth in this video are consistent with the values that I put forth in my video, Chess Secrets, the value of the pieces, just more precise. This makes it much more clear as you can see how it all adds up. The maximum value of a piece is determined by its mobility. So the queen can hit 27 squares from, center, from a center uh, square, the rook 14, bishop 13, the knight 8, the king 8, and the pawn 3. So the formula, of course, in my video, which is still up, you can go watch it if you want. It was only 2 minutes and about 30 seconds, uh, the chess secrets video. In that video, it says that um, each square is worth 0.33. Turns out that each square is actually uh, worth 0.314, as it's an, ex uh, an expression of, square of uh, pi. So you multiply the 27 times the 0.314, and this is what you get for the queen. This is the value of the strength of the king, queen. This is uh, the queen is worth 8.4. Well, this is the strength, 8.478. The rook, if you multiply the 14 uh, by the 0.314, you get 4.396. This is the values of the pieces. You know, I came up with 9 for the queen at first, and the rook was 4.6, and the bishop was 4.3. But th this, is, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is correct right here. <laughs> it's, it's more correct. It's uh, closer, you know, more refined. I had it at 0.33, but it's actually the squares are worth... 0.314 and the knight you multiply um, the, the bishop knight 13 squares by the 3.14 this is what you get then the knight the king and the pawn now you can check these numbers if you would like to which would make a lot of sense since I got so much flack on the last video some people I mean they couldn't refute it with logic or intelligence but they that's really sharp terrible you know just small-minded uh, comments to make about it but here you can check it all. A rook plus the bishop equals 8.48. Same thing as the queen. And um, it's my contention that they are equal to the queen. A bishop, a knight, and two pawns are equal to a queen. Bishop, knight, two pawns. Same number. See? Three knights. This, we just talking theoretical. You can actually have three knights on a board. But three knights and a pawn equal to a queen. Okay. Two bishops and a pawn. 9.106 so that's a little bit more than the queen two knights and a bishop <laughs> look at that 9.106 so the two bishops and a pawn are worth two knights and a bishop <laughs> uh, two knights equal 5.024 a bishop and a pawn equal 5.024 see you can't make these numbers up you know and you can't refute them this is what this this is how it pans out People that want to tell you that two knights uh, equal to two bishops, they, it's just not right. It's just it's a mistake. They're, they're, they're just, they're just cor incorrect. And, uh, but there's some statements that Kasparov made that uh, make it clear that he, he understands the, the power. He, he may not know this formula. You know, of course, I never heard anybody ever mention this type of formula in these particular numbers here that I'm citing. But he, his play uh, suggests that he understands this. And not just his play, others play as well. Which some of my videos you can look at how games turned out with these imbalances. Uh, anyway, one knight plus two pawns equal four point three nine six, and what else equals four point three nine six? A rook. There's one knight and two pawns. I'm just showing you what the numbers are. Of course, all of these things, uh, these if you were to make these exchanges, uh, you would have uh, like a knight and two pawns for a rook. It depends on the position because if you have a piece that's not mobile it's not you know at maximum strength so and if it can't get there quickly to full mobility then your exchange may not be doing you such a favor it may be really bad for you because you know the rest of the position we just talk about the maximum pieces and the, the values of the pieces so each square like I said is worth 0.314 and I originally when I came up with the formula uh, I came up with 0.33. I was still 
basing everything off a of pawn being one. And the closest I can get to a pawn would still be one was 0.33, which made the pawn 0.99. But as we see, the pawn is not, the pawn is worth 0.942. Um, the formula that I put forth in the video, chess secrets, the value of the pieces, was correct. And now it is clearer to see and easier for one to check. I can't wait for the chess world to accept the formula and the true values of the pieces. Help me spread the word. Thank you. So, of course, of course, my name is Lemuel John Taylor, uh, also known as Chess World, the Bad Bishop. Uh, my YouTube channel and my moniker on ICC, chess.com, and, F, and uh, free internet chess server is uh, my diametrical. And I am, of course, the creator of the board game. Diametrical. You can find that video, a video of my board game, on my uh, YouTube site. Uh, all right. Just wanted to share that with the chess community, and I'm hoping that uh, <laughs> people can come on step forward and uh, recognize what it really is. All right. Peace.